Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Signature Licks lesson for the months of July through September 2020. I am still in the process of redoing, revising my what I used to call my classic Licks lessons. I now call them my Signature Licks lessons. This is where I take one particular guitar player, blues guitar player from the 1950s or 60s, and I share with you 12, 15 or so licks that I've learned that I enjoy or licks that I think are a window into their style, help you understand how they played what they did. I've got some new ones that I'm planning, but for the moment I'm going back and redoing old ones, trying to do them better, make them sound better, better teaching, better tabs, all that stuff. So this time around we're going to look at Guitar Slim. And Guitar Slim has always been one of my all-time favorites. I just love his tone. In fact, Things I Used to Do was one of the first electric blues songs that really got me wanting to play electric blues guitar. And we're going to start out, the first seven licks we're going to do are going to be in the key of F. And I'll tell you the songs that they're from so you can listen to them and, and hear them yourself. It's really important for all my lessons that you listen to the original songs. That's what I'm trying to show you is what they're playing on or what they played on the original tunes. I am guessing that Guitar Slim used a capo. He either did that or he tuned his guitar down to an F. For most of us, it's a lot easier to slap a capo on. So I'm going to put a capo on the first fret. And what this does is allows me to play in what I call E position when I'm in F. So chord-wise, this chord is an F. And Guitar Slim would move the capo. I, I think he had to use a capo because he plays in B flat, he plays in C, he plays in A flat, and it would be really difficult to tune his guitar to those, to those, like, to play the way he did. And I've experimented, I've used the capo, and when I play using the capo, to me it sounds exactly like it does on the original recording. So I'm saying he used a capo. Let's get started. And to play Guitar Slim stuff, you need to know your E position. I'm not going to go through and teach that, but I'm just going to tell you that's where we're playing. Every tune he did was in the, not the key of E, but in the E position using the capo. So our first example, lick number one, comes from The Things I Used to Do. And this is his most famous song, his signature song. And throughout the tune, he does a lot of these, these single string runs, very melodic. And here's just one example from the things I used to do. Play it again. That's what I have tabbed out. Let's do that again. Very melodic, and what we're doing, I'm starting out a lot of open strings. And you may notice I have my guitar tuned really loud, or turned up really loud. I, there might be, you might be able to hear that hum in the background. I'm using this little Fender amp, and I think I've got a, an issue with the jack in this guitar. The photographs of Guitar Slim show him playing a gold top, Les Paul gold top. Mine is a 56 reissue Epiphone. I don't have the money for a, a gold top. I'm a high school teacher. <laughs> All my guitars are, are cheap versions of, of classics. I think they sound okay. So I am trying to get something resembling a Guitar Slim sound. Everything I've read about him says that he played incredibly loud. And that's a large part of his sound. Now if you listen to his recordings, his early recordings for specialty, you can hear that. Later when he goes to ATCO, they kind of tune, tune down the guitar. And it's not so loud and so vicious. So I'll, I'll let you know the, the tunes here. Things I Used to Do was one of his loud and vicious ones. So we're starting out with an open third string, hammering on to the first fret. I am going to tell you the fret numbers from the capo. I am not going to try to count them as if the capo wasn't there. That drives me crazy. And with my tab program, it's a lot harder to, to write the tabs for the capo songs. So what I've done, in fact, on the tab, is I've just done everything from the capo. So, open third string, that's fret number one. Open second string. 
open first string, sliding from the second to the fourth string. That's what I have tabbed out. And how he ends the phrases depends on where he is in the song. If he's playing on the one, he's going into the four, or if he's coming down from the five to the four, he'll play something a little different. This is just a simple example. So what we're doing, check the tab. I'm not going to go through every note on this. I'm just going to try to point out the unique thing. That's pretty simple. And he pauses. And he ends the phrase on the second fret of the second string. Sometimes he'll end it open. Sometimes he'll end it on the fourth string. It just depends, again, where he is in the song. So this is lick number one. Just a real simple, typical guitar slim, melodic lick and to get you started with this. And that's lick number one. Lick number two comes from another song in the, in the key of F called Something to Remember You By, one of my, another one of my all-time favorites. Great solo, great fills in this. And here's a slight variation of that first type of lick, just to show you all the different ways you can you know, play with this with this idea here. So in something to remember you by, he's got a lick that goes like this. One more time. The cool thing there is that open first string, which if you turn up loud enough, you can hit. Especially with the Les Paul, that's going to just hang there forever. So anyway, what I'm doing, I'm starting it out the same way we did the first leg. On the first fret of the third string, open. And we're holding that. Check the tab out one more time. Another cool guitar slim type lick. That's again from Something to Remember You By. That's number two. Lick number three is also from Something to Remember You By. And this one is very similar to the other two licks that I've showed you, but it's got one little element that is really important for the guitar slim style. And this is a good simple lick to start thinking about this one with. So the lick goes like this. And you'll see a couple slight variations. <laughs> Do it again. So starting out, instead of hammering on from the open third string, we're going to start from the second fret of the fourth string, which is an F. We got that. And then right here, we're sliding on the third string from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret. This is a, a lick that Guitar Slim uses over and over again in so many different ways. And he's going to slide to the 4th fret and then get the open 2nd string twice. Play it fast. We'll get into those kind of licks later. So we're doing this slow. It's a slow tune. And then... We go to our single string melodic lick on the first string. So that first part, that's the, the different part. And that is lick number three, again from Something to Remember You By in the key of F. Lick number four, we're going to stay in the key of F, we're going to move to a different song. This is from a tune called Guitar Slim, by Guitar Slim. Sort of a semi-autobiographical shuffle tune. It has some great guitar licks in it. And let me show you one that is really another one of these essential Guitar Slim licks. It's a typical E position thing. And this is a lick that he plays in the solo of the song. He also uses it throughout the song as a fill. 
some variation of it, at least. It goes like this. One more time. So this lick, what I'm doing is on the second string, going to the fifth fret with an open first string. Typical electric blues thing, John Lee Hooker, all kinds of guys use that. So what we're doing here, we're playing, I'm upstroking, downstroking. Da 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 da. Right there. And I think the easiest way to play this lick is to take your first finger. You could do it with your second and first finger, like a pull off. I think it's easier to just slide the first finger. You can mess around with it. I have no idea how Guitar Slim played this. There is no film of Guitar Slim playing anything. That's the first part. So I'm doing this. So I'm going three, two, open on the first string, winding up on the second fret of the second string. Sometimes I play it like that. Sometimes I play it like that. And then he just does this little melodic thing on the second and first strings. And again, if you've got your guitar tuned up loud and you're playing a Les Paul, you get a lot of sustain. And those open strings sound really, really cool. So the lick goes like this. Real simple. This idea. see this used in a lot of different ways coming up. So that is lick number four from Guitar Slim in the key of F. Lick number five comes from the same tune as lick number four, Guitar Slim in the key of F. And I'm going to show you something cool you can do with that open string lick that I, that I talked about in the previous lesson. He plays a lick, goes something like this. One more time. The idea is simple. We're playing, we're playing that lick. All I'm doing is taking one finger. I'm using my second finger, sliding from the third to the fifth fret of the second string, and then I'm upstroking, downstroking with my pick. One two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, and then right here, I'm gonna slide. The uh, 12th fret of the first string, which is an F. So we got this. Then he goes into the, the four of the song. Guitar Slim, I think some of his best playing is when he mixes up playing in that first E position and then moves up and down the neck. And we'll see a couple examples of that coming up here in a little bit. So there's an example of how you can use that. That lick, just not doing anything, just keeping that finger. And then, and then I'm sliding back out downward. Something like that. Whoops. Hey, that actually sounds good. I don't even know what I did there. That is example number five. Two licks that I've shown you so far. That one, where we're sliding on the third string and then getting the open. Second string, that one's really important. And then that lick where we're going from the third to the fifth fret on the second string with the open first string ringing out. That, those two licks are like two of the most essential building blocks for the Guitar Slim style. These single strings are another one. And we got a couple more we'll get to before we're finished. So that's lick number five, Guitar Slim's Guitar Slim. Lick number six comes from a, another tune in F called Bad Luck Is On Me. And this is a combination of a melodic single string run with one of those little signature licks that I showed you. This one is going to be that slide on the third string. And he plays a fill lick in this song that goes like this, which I think is simple but very cool. <laughs> Let's 
do that again. So some of the same stuff, hammering on first fret of the third string. Right here, we're getting the second fret of the first string. Open, and then open second string. That's really cool. And again, when you're playing loud enough and you got a Les Paul or something that has a lot of sustain, you can get away with playing those open strings and they sound great. Then right here, we're going to do one of the slides. Third to our second to fourth fret on the third string. Open second string. And then just third second fret of the third string, open wind up on the second fret of the fourth string, which is a, an F. So let's play that again. I hope I played that right the first time. That's, that's it right there, what I have tabbed out for you. One more time, I'll try to play it real slow. That is lick number six, and that is from Bad Luck Is On Me. Lick number seven. This is in the key of F. We're going to do a lot of, of tunes in the same keys to start out with in F so we don't have to move the capo around. Then we're going to move the capo and play in some other keys that Guitar Slim played in. This is a fill lick from the tune Think It Over. And this is in the key of F. And this is just a real cool little fill lick that he inserts between his vocal vocals. Go goes something like this. <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm sliding on the third string. Remember that lick right there? And then we're sliding back. Listen to that. So a lot of guitar slim sound is that technique and the little slides and the way he plays things. And that's one of the essentials when he slides on that third string, sliding back down. He'll slide in slides up. He picks it once, slides. So, and then pulls off. So one more time. Play something like that. And I, I broke this down and just made it a short lick to practice so you can practice that idea. So it's not enough if you want to sound like Guitar Slim or you know, play some of his licks and have them sound authentic. It's not enough just to play, you know, if you play. I mean, that sounds good, but this. That little smear and slide, that's guitar slam. I mean, listen to the records and you'll hear what I'm talking about. So that is our se seventh example. That's a fill lick from Think It Over, also in the key of F. Lick number eight, we're going to start moving the capo around. And we'll take a look at some, some cool Guitar Slim ideas and different keys. We'll come back to F before we're finished. But let's, let's try something different. <laughs> 